Hello everyone, Mr. Kenor here. In today's activity, we're going to be designing a Phoenix landscape using Tinkercad. I provided some examples for you in the assignment handout that's in Google Classroom. So you could choose your own landmark if you want. You could take one of my examples. As long as it's some kind of scene, whether it's a building, a place, a park, something like that. And then we're going to use the basic shapes to design that landmark. So my example today is going to be a pretty prominent Phoenix landmark, and that's Camelback Mountain. Anybody driving into Phoenix, you'll notice that there's a mountain sort of uh, north of downtown that looks like a camel laying on its stomach, and it's got a big hump. So they call it Camelback Mountain. The first thing I want to do is I'm going to bring the text, just drag it out and drop it, and the dialog box will pop up. And I'm just going to name it. So I'm just going to put Camelback Mountain. And that way, anybody who opens this is going to be able to immediately know what I'm trying to do because it might not look exactly like Camelback Mountain. I'm going to change the height, just lower it so it's not so three dimensional, a little bit easier to read. And there we go. Now, making mountains can be pretty difficult. You could use a series of pyramids and wedges and uh, it, it would take a while to get it done. So what I'm going to do today is I'm actually going to use Scribble under Basic Shapes, and I'm going to draw the outline of the mountain. So bring Scribble out here to your workplace, drop it, and it's going to bring up this new page where we then get to draw. Whether you're using your finger on an iPad or a mouse, you'll notice it's really hard to get straight lines. It's okay. What we're going to do, we're going to chop off the bottom so it doesn't really matter what the bottom looks like so long as we sort of get the basic outline of Camelback Mountain. And the next part, it's going to take a, about a minute to do this next part. What I'm going to do is fill it in just so that we have one solid shape. It's not just the outline of the mountain. I want the whole thing. We're not going to have the sides. It's not going to be totally three-dimensional. It's going to be sort of a two-dimensional that has a little bit of shape to it. But it just is going to look a little bit more like a mountain than an outline would. So use whatever method you have for filling in shapes, whether it's this approach of making tiny circles or going back and forth. If you let go, you'll notice that it will show you anywhere that it's missed because it outlines the shape of those black lines. So you can see, hey, I missed a spot over here. I missed a spot over here. If you need to erase anything down at the bottom, there's an eraser tool. Or if it's a total mess and you just want to start over, uh, you can hit the clear button that's over here on the left-hand side. When you're done, over on the bottom right is the done. Click that and your shape will now appear on your work plane. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make it bigger. You can kind of manipulate it around, see if you grab those corners and you can make it taller, shorter, however you want. And then if you look at it from the side, it will give you the option to rotate that shape. So rotate it 90 degrees and then lift that shape so that it's on the workplace. Okay, now the last thing I want to do with my mountain here is cut the bottom. So I'm going to come over to my basic shapes. I'm going to grab a box. And then we're going to extend this box all the way, the whole length of the mountain. And you might want to spin it around to make sure. And it will show you. So everything that's in the darker shaded blue are the parts that are going to get cut away when I group my shape. So you can kind of move it just how you want. And then as soon as you have what you want to cut away, you're going to grab both the shape and the hole. And then you're going to come up here to group or hit control G. It's going to group them together. And you'll notice I now have a very flat bottom. Lower that down so that it's right on the work plane. And there we go, we got a basic Camelback Mountain. All right, now I'm gonna add a few more things to it. 
All right, the first thing that I'm going to add is going to be a cactus because we're here in Phoenix. And I'm just going to use the scribble tool again. And I'm going to draw some saguaros. So we got our saguaro, and then you got to add the little arms. Okay, so I got my saguaro. I'm going to hit done. It's out here in my workplace again. Up here in my shape dialog box, I can change the color. So we're gonna make it, let's make it green. Reduce the height a little bit. We wanna rotate it 90 degrees. And then let's add it to our shape. There we go. So we'll get one and then you can come up to the duplicate button or just hit uh, control D and whoops, sorry, as long as it's selected, we can do it. You could drag another one, lift it. So, you know, we could add a couple, couple cactus. Let's put three over here and then I'm going to, let's put some more over on the other side. If you ever need to zoom in on a specific shape, if that shape is selected and you come over to the left, you have fit view to select the shape, or you could just click F on your keyboard. Let's see, let's duplicate this guy. Now we need to lower it. Duplicate it one more time. Lower it down, just, I'm kind of fitting these and then I'll look from the top down just to make sure that they're hanging out on top of my shape. They're not floating in midair anywhere. So, okay, so I got some cactus and now I'm gonna add a hiker. To do that, I'm gonna use scribble again. We're gonna, we're gonna come over and this guy is gonna be climbing up a steep incline. So I'm just gonna put this, I'm gonna get rid of that later, but it's just sort of to give me a reference point for where his legs need to be and his arms he's like really working and then use that eraser tool to get rid of this so that we only have the hiker just make sure, see how there's some leftover things. And it looks like I missed one spot on his face. Get her. There we go. Okay. And then hit done over on the bottom right. And I've got my hiker. So I'm going to reduce the height. Let's just make him orange. And we need to rotate him. Again, 90 degrees. And then pull him up in the air. Whoa. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can put him near the top over here. Okay, so he's inside my shape now. Whoops. A lot of moving around because we're working with shapes that are so big. And my scroll wheel is so sensitive. Okay, let's just make sure that he's on top. Oh, nope, see how he's hanging out a little bit. So move him in. And there we go, I've got my Phoenix landscape. We've got Camelback Mountain. So that's it. That's all I'm looking for. Just something that's recognizable using the basic shapes. Just remember that you have characters down here, so you know if you wanted to put the Astro Bot or you want to make it an egg chicken or uh, if we wanted to give this guy a beanie, you know, let's let's get creative with this assignment. Uh, add whatever you want, and then share with me so that we can see your Phoenix landmark. All right, you guys, good luck and have fun tinkering.